mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my saved my soul from death you are my strength and my song sing to the mountains sing to the sea raise your voices lift your heart this is the day the Lord has made let all the earth rejoice My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Eucharistic celebration. I offer this Eucharist for your intentions and the intentions of this channel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and, and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned. Sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners we are made just, and though pitiable made blessed, stand we pray by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verses 7 to 21. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and the Presbyters, my brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you not putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this. 
as he written after this i shall written and rebuild the fallen hut of david from its ruins i shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the lord even all the gentiles on whom my name is invoked thus says the lord who accomplishes these things known from of old it is my judgment therefore that we ought to stop troubling the gentiles who turn to god but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols unlawful marriage the meat of strangled animals and blood for moses for generations now has had those who proclaimed him in every town as he has been read in the synagogues every sabbath the word of the lord thanks be to god a responsorial psalm your response proclaim god's marvelous deeds to all the nations proclaim god's marvelous deeds to all the nations sing to the lord a new song sing to the lord all you lands sing to the lord bless his name your response proclaim god's marvelous deeds to all the nations announce his salvation day after day tell his glory among the nations among all peoples his wondrous deeds your response proclaim god's marvelous deeds to all the nations say among the nations the lord is king he has made the world firm not to be moved he governs the peoples with equity your response proclaim god's marvelous deeds to all the nations gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia my sheep hear my voice says the lord i know them and they follow me Alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Glory to you O God Jesus said to his disciples As the Father has loved me so I have loved you Remain in my love If you keep my commandments you will remain in my love just as i have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love i have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete the gospel of the lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel reading is an invitation by our Lord to each one of us to remain in his love. As Jesus is inviting us to remain in to remain as jesus is inviting us to remain in his love he also tells us how he has remained in the love of his father by doing precisely the will of the father by obeying him and therefore jesus wants each one of us to remain in his love and by doing the commandments that he has given us we shall also remain in his love jesus is inviting us by doing his commandments to remain in a relationship as he has built a relationship with the father so also we need to build a relationship with jesus and how could we 
Jesus did it by his way of life. When he said, I have loved, when he said, I have kept the commandments or did the will of the Father. What was the Father's will? To love. Love is to care. Love is to forgive. Love is to give without counting. A selfless love Jesus showed to each one of us. And in this way he did the will of the Father and remain in relationship with the Father, united with the Father, so too we his followers are called to love, to forgive, to care, to help, to heal. And in this way, we shall to remain in his love. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to remain in his love, to make efforts day by day by doing small acts of love, of forgiveness, of caring, of sharing. And by doing this, we too shall make efforts to remain in his love. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you O Lord but in this time above all to love you at more graciously but in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for with the old order destroyed a universe cast down is renewed. An integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring, to her the and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Derek our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis de Sales, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teachings, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Everyone need compassion, a love that never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone need forgiveness. The kindness of a savior, the hope of nation. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. My God is mighty to save, He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine a light and let the whole world see. Singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine a light and let the whole world see. 
for the glory of the risen King Savior, He can move the mountains My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save forever Author of salvation He rose and conquered the grave Jesus conquered the grave